Hi guys, I would love to give you a quick sneak peek of the authentic FMS on our eJets. I'm currently testing about 40 flight plans from all around the world just to make sure that the FMS can handle all kinds of routes and especially how it handles the vertical profile and altitude restrictions because that is what VNAV is then going to follow. In this video, I will be showing you how to program two different flight plans, one from LA to San Francisco and another one from Glasgow to London City Airport. I will not be explaining exactly how the FMS is used. We will have demo flights and tutorials ready for you on the day of the release. This video is just meant to show you the progress that we've made. And keep in mind that this is still work in progress, so you might see some bugs here and there, but we are very nearly ready. All right, let's go ahead and enter our first flight plan. And here we are in LA. Uh, as I said, I will not be explaining exactly how to use the FMS. All I will do is go through my normal testing process. And all you have to do is sit back, relax and watch the FMS do its thing. So we'll start on the route page by entering the destination. Activate. Next we'll select the departure. So runway 25 right. Now we need the SID. SID transition. Let me zoom out a little bit so that we can see what's going on. We can also hide the nav aids and airports. Here we have the map in the plan mode, which allows us to cycle through the flight plan as we are building it. You can see that the line is dashed. That is because it is still the preview of what we're doing. And once we activate it, the lines will become solid. All right, now I'm going to enter the route. So we'll be entering an airway, airway exit point. And in our case, uh, this is the entire route. So now we will enter the arrival. So let's activate this and now we will enter the runway. Approach ILS 28 left with the transition. Now I'm going to enter the star. Apply, activate. All right, uh, now let's have a look at the performance initialization. We will need to enter three different values here, the takeoff CG, the zero fuel weight, and the cruise altitude. Once we do that, we will then get the vertical profile of the flight plan. And here we go. We can see that the vertical profile is uh, nicely loaded. Uh, we also see that there are a few altitude restrictions. So let's go ahead and check that they all look good. Here we have fix it at 10,000 and then we can go directly to the cruise altitude. Here we can see the top of descent. Here we have more altitude restrictions, so this one's about above 20,000, that is all correct. And we can see how the descent nicely guides us down to the airport. If we were to lower the cruise altitude, which I'm going to do right now, we can see that top of descent then moves to the correct new position. All right, and then what we would do next is we would go through the rest of the performance pages, but I'm not going to be doing that right now. Uh, that will all be covered in our tutorial videos. Uh, right now, let's just go to Scotland and let's load our second flight plan. So this flight is interesting because the star and approach have specific altitude restrictions that we need to make sure the FMS can follow perfectly. All right, here we are in Glasgow. And so once again, uh, we need to tell the FMS where we want to go to. Then let's enter the departure. Followed by airways, so the left side is where you enter the airway and the right side is where you enter the exit waypoint.
Perfect, now we've entered the route and we can also enter the arrival. So that's runway 27, ILS, approach transition, star, this one right here, apply. So we can see the preview of the arrival. Let's activate it. Let's check it out a bit closer. That's looking exactly like what I want to see. Perfect, so now let's go ahead and enter the performance data. So once again, we need to enter the takeoff CG, then zero fuel weight, and finally the cruise altitude. And here we are. Now we have the vertical profile. And let's check the star and the approach. We can see that we have a step in the descent due to the altitude restrictions. So that's exactly what I expected to see. We have another step right here. So yeah, I'm very happy looking at this. Uh, this looks exactly like what I expected. And we even have an altitude restriction in the departure. So when VNAV is active, uh, the plane will climb until 6000, then it will level off. And when we reach this waypoint, it will continue up to the cruise altitude. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Definitely keep your eyes out for any Egypt's family posts from now on because we are very nearly there. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below and I'll see you soon. Hey, before you go, I would love to ask you something. Did you ever wonder how we create these digital planes that you fly on a daily basis? Why is the thing crashing sometimes? Or why is the performance of some add-ons much worse than others? These and many more topics are all part of our Not A Newsletter. If you join our community, you will learn all about it, plus, you will be able to tell us directly how we can improve your flight sim experience. So make sure to get your first not a newsletter by signing up below.